Alexa's privacy concerns have sparked various opinions about whether or not this virtual assistant is dangerous. A major concern that people have is if their Echo Dot is collecting their voice recording data when they haven't said the wake word Alexa. With this being said, voice assistants have been used in commercials to get feedback about the product from the public. Specifically, Burger King aired a TV commercial designed to wake Google Homes by having an actor in the ad say, we're watching a 15 second Burger King ad, which is unfortunately not enough time to explain all the fresh ingredients in the Whopper sandwich. But I got an idea. Okay, Google, what is the Whopper burger? According to Wikipedia, the Whopper is a burger consisting of a flame grilled quarter pound beef patty, sesame seed bun, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, pickles, ketchup, and sliced onion. People could have this commercial on in the background while they're doing something and not even know that their Google Home or Google Pixel phone is being awakened. Also, they wouldn't know that their voice recording data is being collected. CBS producers Nandy and Patterson asked the two leading smart home assistants, Amazon's Alexa and Google Assistant, how to find the user data that their de devices collected about them. They emphasized that when they asked Alexa this question, they had trouble getting a forward answer from her. Alexa responded with unclear responses like, hmm, I don't know that one, or not sure. These suspicious answers lead me to think that these cybergs are capable of anything and that they aren't friendly assistants that they are made out to be. It's scary to think that when connecting Alexa to control appliances in your home, especially door locks, a burglar could shout open the front door or turn off the alarm system from outside if these devices are connected to your digital hub. Millions of individuals are impulsively purchasing Amazon's Alexa without even knowing what it's capable of doing. With this being said, people purchased this device for the sole purpose of it making their lives easier by doing simple tasks for them. I believe that telling Alexa to change a song or to turn lights off for you are not clearly worth the risks that families are taking while putting a virtual assistant in their homes. Amazon's new seven foot tall Alexa Christmas tree has sparked a mass interest over the country, causing the pre-orders to continually sell out. This 299 voice activated Christmas tree that families are fighting for can ultimately put them in danger, which they probably won't realize around the joyful holiday season. I think that the public sphere needs to come together to report their privacy incidents to the government and set up to people like Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon. Since Alexa is Amazon's top moneymaker, of course Bezos is going to be biased about his product when someone approaches him about a privacy incident that they had with their cyborg. In the past, Bezos denied an incident that was reported in Portland, Oregon. Oh, their love for Alexa changed with an alarming phone call. The person on the other line said, unplug your Alexa devices right now. That person was one of her husband's employees calling from Seattle. We go around and unplug them all. He proceeded to tell us that he had received um, audio files, recordings from what was going on in our house. Danielle says her Amazon device in her Portland home recorded a private conversation and sent that recording to a random contact, which happened to be the employee in Seattle. Alistair Charlton writes that Bezos explained that the woman's device woke up due to a word in her conversation that sounded like Alexa. Having people unleash the real answers about how an Echo Dot is made and what it's truly made to do will allow the public to see the hidden secrets behind all of Alexa's privacy concerns. Also, this will prevent dangerous soft artificial intelligent devices from keeping track of our social and personal identities that we may not want them to know. It's hard for me to wrap around this whole new level of creepy. The fact that people don't know that their device is always listening to them and are sending everything that it hears to its manufacturers is just wild. NBC news writer Ethan Sachs accentuates that connected speakers have become one of the fastest growing technical innovations in the tech industry. Also, 44% of adults in the US said that they plan to purchase a smart speaker. It's alarming for me to hear the substantial amount of people that plan to put a manipulative and dangerous device in their home that puts their family at risk. I think that it's crucial to inform people about this issue and report your privacy concerns to the government so that they can make refinements on Alexa so that she is not storing our voice recording data and continually being a threat. Alexa, are you recording this conversation? That's a little weird. It didn't even say anything on the app and it just turned off. Alexa, are you recording this conversation and sending it to the government? Um, 
I think you get what I'm saying here. I'm not saying something, but things are a little weird. I'm gonna give it one more shot. Alexa, are you sending this conversation to the National Security Administration? I, I don't know, I don't know. Luis, tell me what she's doing. Tell me if she's cheating on me. You saw it here first. We don't know what to do. Coming together over the shared idea that these human-like assistants are a privacy concern, we can create a participatory culture to help society become free and safe from exposing our own privacy.